friends, fellow Canadians, I'd like to dig just a few moments of your time to talk to you about something you're probably already tired of hearing about, and that's the robocalls uh, slash election fraud investigation. Um, now, I don't want to go into the details of that too much. Uh, we know that there's certainly allegations that something was not very good in Guelph, and there's lots of people who've called to say that they received harassing calls or misleading calls. There's also a possibility that um, there was some mail fraud, that directorial notices were sent out, yellow reminder notices were sent out that weren't actually from Elections Canada. All of that is um, under investigation, will continue to be under investigation. Um, I know that all of that has left many Canadians that I've spoken to feeling um, helpless or hopeless. Uh, or angry, completely disenfranchised, that um, there's nothing we can do about it, that no one party is worse than another, that there's always been dirty tricks, it's just business as usual. And even if it isn't, even if it really is illegal activity and we feel quite strongly that something should be done about it, it's what on earth would we do? Uh, we can't really, you know, another election is a lot of money and really gives us no guarantee that we'll be in any different place. The opposition and the third party um, do not currently even have leaders in place. And so perhaps that's not an option. So uh, what I want to speak to you about today is, um, is an option. Um, what I think is an option at any rate. Um, so I, I would like to just first remind you that in Canada, um, legislation does not become law simply by being passed through the House of Commons, which contains our elected representatives, and being passed by our appointed representatives in the Senate, also known as the House of Sober Second Thought. It actually becomes law when it receives royal assent when it is signed off on by the um, by the Queen's representative in Canada, which is His Excellency David Johnson at the moment. So I would like to say that um, I'm just a little bit concerned that our House of Commons is currently um, pushing through or passing legislation uh, designed to reshape Canada in a way that perhaps doesn't represent fairly all Canadians or legitimately represent them if in fact there was um, illegal activity in the previous in the most recent election and so what I would like what I'm asking you and all my fellow Canadians to do is to ask the Governor General to please withhold royal assent from any legislation that has come through the House of Commons that did not receive sufficient debate and does not have significant support from both sides of the house. That is to say, our government can continue to work much in the way they did uh, over the past many years when we were in minority government positions. They have to work to consensus, they have to work with compromise, they have to work um, to represent sometimes conflicting interests of all Canadians to make sure that um, we're all represented in what is done. And so, this doesn't mean another election. It means that when Elections Canada finishes its investigation, either there will be criminal charges and by-elections, or there will be a finding that nothing happened, and then um, His Excellency can simply turn to the corner of his desk, take all that legislation that was put on hold because it perhaps wasn't voted for by... Um, there were questions about the legitimacy of the majority that put it through. And then all of that can be signed into law. And in the event that it's found that there are larger issues and uh, perhaps this was not a majority and that some of this um, legislation, if voted on by the House of Commons under the redistributed um, uh, electoral seats after uh, the, you, you know, the possible by-elections or anything, then we don't need to rescind those laws because they won't already be law. They will just be matters that are always are ready to be signed into uh, law if need be or um, ready to be tossed in the dustbin if they're not. Um, I speak, of course, in part because Bill C-310, the Omnibus Crime Bill, um, is a sweeping piece of legislation that inc includes many former failed um, pieces of legislation that the Conservatives could not get through when they did not have a majority. And um, 
experts around the world have told us that um, this legislation probably is not prudent or a good way to go or um, uh, a good way to be reshaping um, the future of Canada. As someone who in my younger days um, spent some time running with a criminal element, uh, I have relatives who um, walk across that line of the criminal element. Some of them have paid their dues and come back into uh, good standing in society and some have not. Uh, and as someone who volunteered and worked with a community justice organization that treated crime more as um, something that our communities as a whole had to deal with to find out why some of our members were so wounded that they were lashing out against the rest of us and and that particular aspect of of, um, of the justice system which is slowly becoming entrenched in part because around the world the numbers show that it's so much more uh, successful that is part of the reason that our crime rates have been dropping because we've been bringing in more and more of those initiatives so I personally am quite concerned about Bill C-10 becoming law that later might need to be rescinded because it, it was put in by um, the 41st Parliament, which may or may not um, be legitimate at this point in time. So here's where I wrap it all up. Uh, please consult the notes attached to this where I have included the contact information for the Governor General and um, a basic outline of what I asked the Governor General. It basically says this. Would you please withhold royal assent from any legislation that um, that may need to be revisited in the event that the Elections Canada investigation um, reveals election fraud? That's all. Not asking you to come out on the Hill, not asking you to sign a petition, not asking you, you you're welcome to call your elected representative, call your appointed senator, um, speak far and loud and rant to whoever you like whomever you like. Um, but what I would like you to do is just take a moment right now and either send an email, you're already on the computer anyway, right? Or um, scratch out a little lovely note card if you like to the Governor General or make a call to his office and say to them, say to him that as a concerned citizen, you are asking him to be prudent, um, to respect Canada's democratic traditions and to not take us down a road that it's going to be difficult for us to get back from if we find out there's a problem. What's the worry? Why wait? Probably nothing wrong anyway. Don't need to rush this through. If everything's appropriate, it'll get through and it's good time. So I thank you very much. I encourage you to repost this video. I encourage you to re-record this video in your own words. And, um, or, or here's a concept, talk live amongst your friends and, and get this information out. If a majority of Canadians Get beyond that hopeless, helpless, angry, disenfranchised, whatever it is you're feeling and say, hey, wait a minute, this is my Canada. And I think it's important, whether you agree with the legislation or not agree with the legislation, I, I think it's important that we, that we confirm that our government is acting with legitimacy. And until we have that, we need to be careful. Please, please join me. Because you know what? I stand on guard for Canada. I hope you do too. Blessings. Peace.